Welcome back Guardians, today we have something electrifying in store for you as we delve into the depths of Destiny 2's Season of the Deep with a powerful Warlock build centered around the exotic gauntlets Getaway Artist. This unique exotic, combined with the ARC 3.0 subclass and the new NPA Repulsion Regulator, is going to give you the power to immobilize your enemies and take them out of combat while you punish them with an onslaught of ARC Empowerment. I'm Profane, and together we're going to unleash the true potential of ARC Energy. So let's dive in. The Getaway Artist Exotic Gauntlets are a game changer for any Warlock looking to harness the raw power of Arc Energy. With these gauntlets equipped, you gain access to a unique ability known as Dynamic Duo. Dynamic Duo allows you to convert your Arc Grenade into a sentient Arc Soul, essentially giving you an extra ally on the battlefield. This Arc Soul not only deals damage to enemies, but it will also cause you to instantly become amplified making you a formidable force to be reckoned with. What's even better about this Arc Soul is that every enemy it hits, we will get a small amount of grenade energy returned, which often results in the ability to throw one or two normal grenades before this Arc Soul even goes away. To fully optimize this build, we'll be using the Electrostatic Mind aspect. This aspect creates ionic traces when defeating enemies with either Arc abilities, jolt, or blinding effects. When an Ionic Trace is collected, you will become Amplified. Ionic Traces grant 12.5% Grenade and Melee Energy, along with 15% Class Ability Energy. Next, we have the Arc Soul aspect, which grants another Arc Soul when casting your Rift. This will stay with you or any teammate who passed through the Rift for a full 15 seconds. These Arc Souls will continuously fire 3 bursts of Arc Damage at enemies who are within 20 to 25 meters. Any kills from these Arc Souls will count as Arc Ability Kills. When amplified, these Arc Souls fire in bursts of 5, and by using Arc Souls along with the Getaway Artist, we can maintain a constant supply of Arc Souls while being able to still utilize our normal grenade functions. We are currently using Flashbang Grenades since they will blind targets and stun unstoppables, but when unstoppables are not a concern, I would recommend to use Storm Grenades. Now let's dive into our Arc Fragments. First, we are utilizing Spark of Resistance. This will provide us with 25% additional resistance against any source of damage from enemies who are within 15 meters. Moving right along, we've got the Spark of Beacons fragment. This powerful fragment enhances our Arc Special Weapons by emitting an explosion that blinds enemies after final blows while amplified. If you are not utilizing a special arc weapon with your own personal build, you will want to consider utilizing Spark of Discharge so that arc weapon final blows will have a chance to create additional ionic traces, which will help regenerate your abilities faster. Up next, we have Spark of Amplitude. This is going to create orbs of power whenever we rapidly defeat enemies while amplified. And last but not least, we have Spark of Recharge. When critically wounded, we'll receive a 400% increase in the regeneration rate of our grenade and melee abilities. Now that we've addressed our Arc subclass, let's take a look at the new goodies that this season's artifact provides. We're using Authorized Melee and authorized arc mods, which are going to passively provide a reduction in energy cost for all armor mods that are associated to arc and melee abilities. We're using Amped Up, which is going to extend our amplified time to 20 seconds, and we're using Electric Armor, which is going to grant an additional 30% resistance to all sources of damage when we are amplified. This will stack on top of the resistance bonus that we get from Spark of Resistance. We're using Thunderous Retort, which is going to provide us with a 30% increase in super damage when we cast our super while amplified or while critically wounded. This will greatly improve the damage output of Chaos Reach, which is already a fantastic super option to be able to melt champions and mini bosses. Otherwise, Storm Trance is always a great choice when dealing with a lot of adds. We're using Counter Charge so that we get one stack of armor charge every time a champion is stunned. In the final column, we've selected Shock and Awe. When amplified, this mod is going to cause any arc final blows 
to create a burst of lightning that jolts nearby targets. Our last choice in artifact mods is Lightning Strikes Twice. This will greatly enhance our ability to spam Arc Souls while also having our normal grenade. After throwing or consuming a grenade, we'll gain increased regeneration of our grenade energy for 5 seconds with additional Arc Final Blows extending this further. Now that we've covered our seasonal artifact mods, let's talk about the armor mods that we're using. Along with Arc Siphon mods on our helmet, which will create orbs when defeating enemies with Arc weapons, we're also using Dynamo so that a small amount of super energy will get generated every time we cast our rift near enemies. Moving over to our gloves, we're using Impact Induction, which is going to restore grenade energy whenever we strike an enemy with our melee attack. We're also using Grenade Kickstart, which will give us an instant bump in grenade energy after throwing or consuming a grenade. This is going to consume at least three stacks of armor charge to convert into grenade energy, but since we're using stacks on stacks, we'll get one extra stack of armor charge whenever we collect an orb, and by using Charged Up, will have four total armor charges that can be active at once. Up next is Class Item, where we are using the Bomber mod, which significantly reduces the cooldown of our grenades when using our class ability. This synergy ensures that we have grenades at our disposal more frequently, allowing for relentless and explosive gameplay. Next, we have the Disruption mod, which reduces the cooldown of all of our abilities every time we use our class ability. This mod allows us to rapidly recharge our grenades, melee, and rift abilities, ensuring that we can continuously rain down arc devastation on all of our enemies. And the last mod that we're using on our class item is the Explosive Finisher mod. This will work more as a failsafe to replenish our grenade energy during intense encounters. When performing a finisher with at least three armor charges active, those charges will be consumed to provide instant grenade energy. Once we've combined all of these mods, aspects, and fragments together with the Getaway Artist, we will have an unstoppable Warlock build that harnesses the immense power of Arc Energy. When it comes to the weapons that will pair up best with this build, you should consider utilizing weapons with origin traits and weapon perks that regenerate ability and grenade energy. I prefer using a kinetic weapon that has osmosis so that it will become an arc weapon whenever we throw or consume our grenade. Arc special weapons like the Forbearance Grenade Launcher or the Iterative Loop Fusion Rifle will be fantastic choices, but there's also exotics like Divinity, Trinity Ghoul, Cloud Strike, Risk Runner, or the Centrifuge that will all be perfect exotics to use with this build. The Thunderlord, Anarchy, or Legend of Acrius are all extremely hard-hitting exotics for your heavy slot. But if you're in need of a legendary heavy weapon, the Wendigo Grenade Launcher with Explosive Light will be a perfect legendary option. So Guardians, in closing, you can embrace the full potential of Arc Energy with this electrifying Getaway Artist Warlock build in Destiny 2 Season of the Deep. Unleash your overpowered Arc abilities, dominate the battlefield, and ensure your enemies know the true power of the Stormcaller. With that being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Getaway Artist and Arc builds in general during Season of the Deep. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. And until next time Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.